What's up guys, I'm Carlos and today we're a brand new video. So yeah, what we're reviewing is 2016 Chevy Utility 1.4. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. behind the scenes, short one of reviews and much more. Remember to go follow my new Instagram and TikTok account, I promise you will not regret it. So let's move on to the front of this car. So as you can see, you do get your two grills over here, the iconic two grill Chevrolet grill. You do get your Chevy badge over here, and these are 100% real grills. These are not fake grills. Chevy does not do fake grills on this car. You do not get spotlights, but it is on the Sport, the 1.8 Sport, and you do not get any daytime running lights and no LED lights. And this car does have a pretty nice type of figure. This bumper looks very unique. And it is color-coded bumper. It is not like some other commercial vehicles like the Nissan MP200, which has the non-color-coded bumper. But you can get the color coded bumper on this MP200 in the SE version. But also, this is not a fake grill over there, also, this is a real grill. So, let me show you how the lights look on this car. So, this is the normal daytime lights the park lights, the headlights, the brights. The indicators with the lights and the indicators without the lights. So as you can see, those lights are not too bad looking. It is a very nice type of shape here. It has a body line that comes over here and it carries on over here and it ends over here but then carries on on the grill. It's a very nice type of attention to detail. And this bonnet is also a very nice shape. So let me go over the specs of this car. So let's go over the specs of this 2016 Chef Utility. So this car has a 1.4 force in the engine, which produces 91 brake force power, or 68 kilowatts. And this car also has 120 newton meters of torque, which is not a bad number considering that it's a 1.4 four cylinder. This car goes 0 to 1 inch in 12.9 seconds, which is very slow. And this car starts with 163 kilometers or 101 miles. It must be very scary to do that fast in a car like this. This car is front wheel drive, and this car weighs 1.1 tons. And this car can load 743 kilograms or 2,430 pounds. 
but it can also load 1,638 pounds. So it's actually a pretty good number. So then this car is economical, kind of. This car averages about 90 sponge pumps on the city and 70 sponge pumps on the highway, which gives us 7.26 sponge pumps combined. Which is not bad, not bad. Now this car is a 5 speed manual. You only get a 5 speed manual in these cars, and this car retails at $11,300 in America, $116,000 in South Africa, and €9,000 in Europe. So, this car is also at a very good price range for a commercial vehicle. You can basically buy a brand new Nissan MP200 for the price of this. So which one should you buy, NP200 or Chevy Utility? Wait until the further part of the video so you can see which one should you buy. So this is the back of the Chevy Utility. And as you can see, it's not pretty bad looking. I think this is a very good looking commercial vehicle. You do get color coded bumpers, how nice is that? But you also get a nice type of black plastic side step. And you can also sit on this if you want. So these are the lights in this car, they are pretty basic, so let me show you how they are. So this is the normal daytime lights. The tail lights. The indicators with the lights. The indicators without the lights. The brake lights. And the reverse light. So as you can see, those lights are not pretty bad looking at all. I think they are pretty good looking. It is okay. They are bright enough, so you can see them, but they're not extremely bright. If you know what I mean. So you also have your type of hooks all over the car for your tonal cover, which is a nice feature. And let's open up the tailgate of this vehicle. So as you can see, you do get lots of storage space over here. This is rubberized, which is really good. So you will not be scratching up your bed and your things, your load will not slip and damage your bed, which is very nice. And it's, there's lots of art and holes and everything is made like that, so it must not really Look, everything which is a very good future and also you can sit on this tailgate and have a picnic if you want so you also have a nice seat over here which is basically the wheel thing of the wheels but you also have a nice size seat which you can sit down so as you can see this back is not bad at all you also get your nice Chevy badge over here so I'm going to move on to the interior of this Chevy utility so this is the interior of the Chevy Utility. As you can see, it looks really good. This is the key you get. It looks like the Corsa Utility that used to be the previous generation of this. I do miss that car. That was a very nice car. Unfortunately, we can't get our hands on that no more because we're becoming extinct in South Africa. So let's turn on the ignition and let's show you the car. So this is the center console of this car. As you can see, you do get this type of blank thing on top. I think it's for the time. And you do get your two air conditioning vents. You do get your hazards and your row of blank switches. You do get your electronic type of air conditioning. It's not electronic, but it looks electronic. It's a very nice type of future. And this car does not have a radio, but you also get your cigarette lights into storage. So this car does not have a radio like I told you, it's, you can buy an aftermarket radio but also if you get like a Sport, a 1.8 Sport, you get the type of radio. But it is pretty good, it's pretty cool this air conditioning thing, it's pretty cool. So now let's move on to the other part of the center console. As you can see you get some storage, you get two cup holders, you do get your 5 speed manual gearbox with the chrome trim, you get some storage and you do get your handbrake. Not bad at all. Carpet on this car, to be honest, it feels pretty good. Not bad for the price. Miles better than this MP200. It's not perfect, but it's much better compared to this MP200 and other commercial vehicles. Very good carpets. 
So this is where the driver sits, as you can see, you get a very cool type of odometer, it looks so cool. And you do get a very nice size steering wheel, it doesn't feel that cheap, but not very premium. It's actually a pretty good feeling steering wheel, you do get your traditional Corsa utility um, switches over here, and you do get your airbag. You get two airbags in this car, one for the driver, one for the passenger. So look at this very cool type of odometer. So this is how it looks when the car is on. Well, now when I turn it off, it disappears. How cool, I turn it on, it comes back. That's so cool. This is a very cool feature, I really like this. So then this is the other part of the driver, you do get your air conditioning vent over here, you get like a plastic chrome trim. You do get your, you do get your, um, your, your light switches, it looks like from the Astro, the Corsa. And yeah, it's not bad. You also get automatic lights in the 1.8 Sports. So then over here, this is the door panel of this car. As you can see, it's metal plus. You get your manual mirrors. You get your chrome type of handle. You get some storage here and no manual mirrors, no manual windows, and some storage. Not bad. The 1.8 Sport also has like the nice automatic mirrors and automatic windows not bad not bad chevy so this is where the other part of the passenger sits as you can see you get, he does get the chrome type of trim with the airbag ticks and you do get a cabby hole and your service books so interior quality it's not great it's you do get a plastic everywhere as you can see but it's a commercial vehicle you can't expect to have perfect materials but just look at this shows the boat but i can literally take off the headline shows the quality of this thing but it's not bad, eh? But this is the hoot of this car. Doesn't sound bad. So now, let us move on to the side of this car. So this is the side of this shaved utility. And as you can see out of the first look, you have a step over here. How cool is it so you can step on here and just have a ride? So you do get your 14 inch steelies. You can put some wheel caps. But they also come with these type of plastic type of wheel caps which stick out with the Chevy badge. You get a body line over here. It doesn't look bad. And you do get your non-color coded handles. But it does look pretty good. You do not get color coded mirrors. They are all plastic. And you do get your traditional Chevy inner case over here. Which I'll show you how it looks like now. So as you can see, that does not look bad at all. And there's not much to say, like your roof over here has a nice type of part, not bad. And here are your hooks for your tonal cover that I was busy talking to you about. You can also put a canopy on this and it will look very nice. Yeah, it is a very, it's a very good looking car. It's a very good looking commercial car. I think it's one of the best looking commercial buckies out there. It's much better looking compared to this MP2 in my opinion. So my opinion on this car is I think this is a great commercial vehicle. I think this is a great car for businesses. You can do deliveries with this, you can pick up things, you can do lots of things with this car and it is comfortable. Only thing that's not nice, this car does not have ABS. But you, it only comes in the sports and in a safety package. This one does not have ABS unfortunately. But if you know how to drive, I'm not sure you would really need that if you're a good driver. So I'm going to put up the young power score on the screen so you can see the scores that I gave this car. So for the daily scores, I gave this car 3 for futures, 5 for comfort, 2 for quality, 9 for practicality and 8 for value. It's been a total of 27 out of 50 for the daily scores. Now for the weekend scores, I gave this car 6 for styling, 4 for acceleration, 5 for handling, Four for fun factor and three for cool factor, which been a total of 22 out of 50 for the weekend scores, which been a grand total of 49 of 100, much better score compared to the Nissan MP200. So, as I said, to this part of the video, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to smash the subscribe button, like button, turn on notifications. I promise you will not regret it. So, what do you think of these reviews? Do you like them? Which reviews do you like most? I have walkarounds, I have YouTube shorts, I've got the normal reviews that I do now, and I do car comparisons. Which one do you like most? Please leave me down in the comment section below, because then I would know who of you actually stay in the 
last bit of the video, I would really, really like to know. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day as always. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.